ghosty blue did this already in one of our first couple weeks of doing elo hell i don't know if it was the first week i believe it was but it could have been in the second like the second set of videos we did for this uh here is his current stats he is also in my coaching so he's in the discord in coaching he's getting coaching regularly it's not one-on-one -on -one coaching it's light coaching but still when he first did his elo hell video he was 1460 mmr this was probably two months ago maybe three months ago he is now 1929 mmr and we're putting him in instead of that last video he was in a plat diamond lobby now he's going into a masters level lobby he's a jungler we'll see what he can do sounds like he's learning something so I'm, i am actually proud of him i didn't know i agreed to like we're gonna get you your your uh, elo hell video and i didn't recognize his name and then when i saw his mmr up 500 i was pretty hyped about it excited to see if he's about that life or not if he's actually improved that much to go and potentially be playing with people 1500 mmr higher than he was two three months ago and compete would be wild for me I'd be, I'd be down for it. Like I said, he's a jungler. Don't know what he's going to play. I don't know if he's maining a god. I'm not going to out him. Looks like bans are already through. Did two people not ban or did you do the old ban system? You thought he was in Elo Hell before. He wasn't. Now he thinks he's in Elo Hell again. Most of you guys think you're in Elo Hell and y'all stink. So I don't know what to tell you. I can't pull out of a hat the one out of 150 people that is actually stuck in a rank they shouldn't be. That's not on me. I'm trying to just give everyone a chance, a platform to prove that they're better. And if they're not, they're not. Most people haven't been. You guys have watched the videos. Occasionally someone is. If this guy has gone up 500 MMR, maybe he's improving fast enough that he can compete in these games and he hasn't got to the, you know, got to that point yet. Like he hasn't played enough ranked or the resets or whatever. These guys in comms, they can use comms in game, but it's up to them. I don't think most people do. Some people have joined Discord, but it's really rare. Oh, he did do the old ban system, bro. Stallone's on some drugs. All right, what do we got here? They let Yorm through. Ghosty opted for uh, the hyper aggressive Naja jungle. This is really risky because even if you're a good player, this could easily go the other way. Flip side, they picked Thanatos. So it's almost like the exact same scenario, except for we know this is a higher rated player. <sighs> I don't know if I put my money on this. Naja is a weird one. You have to be very comfortable being aggressive and being aggressive without full HP, or you're just going to get run down and run at. Ah, they banned his solo away. What is this team comp? On her mid? Okay. Susano solo? Yeah, Susano solo. So this is Port. I played ranked with him a little bit. He's on the sticks. Well, these team comps are... Well, this team comp is weird. They have a Susano mid. He is on the, the stick. So at least it's a god with big round abilities. So that's good. That's good. We got Stallone not playing mid and going off into the ADC. I don't know if he's ever even seen this lane before. They have an RDO solo, which isn't that strange. It doesn't really counter their team at all, but it doesn't really get countered by their team too much either. I feel like it'll play into the sustain game of Yorm, I, I guess. Team comps are strange. And then each out mid, I haven't seen any of you guys play each out. So that's also a little spicy. Shaiko, if you sign up for sub league, I also should say this for YouTube. Sub league signups are right now. The requirement is you are subscribed. The other requirement is you show up for your matches Saturday nights at 9 p.m. You and your team can schedule with your opponent team for that week a different time before then. I don't care. But if you can't come to an agreement time, you have to play Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. How do you find out your teams the day before the first night? So Friday, the 4th of August, you will get your teams. They will be in a Google doc. The link will be posted on my stream. So you'll have 24 hours to know what your team is. If you want to look at it and that's how it'll be. Uh, so the way it works is you guys will be able to sign up for the next three weeks and then like the week, but like towards the end of July, I'm going to end the signups. If you aren't subbed when I end signups and I go look up everybody, you'll just get pulled out. I'll probably have you messaged and warned like, Hey, you aren't subbed. If you were interested, you gotta be subbed and then give you a day. If you don't sub, then you'll just be pulled. Your name will just be pulled. You can sign up with yourself and two friends. But they also have to sign up and list you as the two friends they want to play with. So all three of you still need to sign up. And you all three need to list each other on your, on your like, these are my teammates I want to, queue, I want to play with. Sub-league, it's not 100% confirmed, but more than likely will be sponsored by Corsair again with big boy prizes. The prizing, I can't really talk about it. But the prizing will be, uh, 
It'll be, it'll be it's something. It'll be something you literally haven't seen before, so. Because of the timing. Thank you, Shmeep. Yeah, I, I have a couple people that said they would help. I'm going to need, absolutely need help with that shit. Luckily, the way I have it set now, it's not hard once we get the teams made and a schedule set out. Like the schedule, once the schedule's done, we're just done. It's free. No, it's not a full setup makeover. It's just Corsair do, does big things, uh, doing some big things. So we get to be a part of it. I have a Corsair AIO up in my closet, oddly enough. I bought an extra one for something and never used it. In my old office. All right, so, so far he's been aggressive at the right times. They're getting out cleared, but they're going to get out cleared because their team cop is fucking whack. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is nice. I can, I can lean back a little bit and watch. Oh, this is, ooh. <laughs> this chair is comfortable when you're leaning back, but when I'm sitting up straight, it kind of hurts my back. And it probably hurts because I'm sitting up better, than, like more po like posture-wise sitting up better than I have been since that other chair has been messed up. Okay, if he can force something here, like beads, not die, and then go for purple, I like it. Oh, oh, Stallone does something. Okay, wait, 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 all right. His thought process is is correct here, but Thanatos' thought process is the response. But Suzano's thought process is the counter counter response. Oh my gosh. Suzano's doing speed in red, so Thanatos doesn't get to invade anything. The audio is pulling blue, but he's probably gonna get stolen by Thanatos. And the Naja is now able to invade the rest of this stuff. It's actually really rare that this plays out like this. Like one in a million rare for smite. I don't think I've ever seen this happen. Look, Thanos checking speed. Everyone responded correctly, but Thanatos gets nothing out of this because Susano is just smarter. Susano is an Xbox player, and he said he started playing ranked really like seriously a year ago, and he's already a master. Like I played games with him. He's pretty good. I didn't know he was on the sticks until later, so now I have a different opinion of him. <laughs> the thing, this isn't a 20, so I didn't talk about this lobby. This lobby is a 2400 minimum lobby. So outside of Ghosty Blue, the lowest I'm on this game is like 2417. And I think the highest is 2800. Not a high 2800. I think it was like a 2820 or something. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong because Akuna's MMR was really high up there a while ago. So I, I had a, he might've been the one that was higher. Oh my, oh my. That's crazy. That's crazy. I think they got double beads and double, not double ults, but and the ult. Hold on, did they get the ult? Ooh. You turn back now. I won't have to wash your blood. No, he didn't get each beads. I don't know how that that ult is nuts. Notice some of the la the most recent gods, each and Marticurus. They have six second ults. They're the longest ults in the game. Anyone have a reason as to why? Because uh, if that's not part of power creep, uh, it, high res would go out of their way to be like, yeah, that's not power creep. It's fucking power creep. Six second ults, bro. Bro. You could Marticurus ult, right? Go to the bathroom and come back in time before you hit the ground. I think Marty ult should just be scrunched down to, to like a two and a half second ult. And the damage should be reduced by like 20% of what it currently is. Like cram 80% of the damage into 2.5 seconds. So that way if you miss, you miss like a big chunk of damage. And if someone Aegis is, they take no damage. Okay, I'm not gonna bullshit you. This dude's play is a thousand times better than it was. A thousand. I remember watching him play. Doesn't over aggress into another fight for no reason. Oh my, bro. If this guy's shot calling too, 
This is like a fucking unicorn. I don't know if this guy's on the sticks. I was talking about Port, the mid laner. It doesn't look like he's on the sticks to me, but I could be wrong. When people on the sticks, they don't move around like that with the, like the up down movement, the different camera angles. Most people on the sticks just hover around the same angle. It's really frustrating. Yeah, obviously this is early game, but so far I am very impressed by the improvement. What's the sticks controller? Oh, I just processed that alpha is the Thanos too. Alpha usually sits at a decently high MMR. I know a lot of people's MMRs are down. Not just right this second, this split MMRs are, they're something. Even inbound was telling me like games are just rough when he plays in the morning. Morning cues are usually a joke. We got a one-shot Merc match the other day and a single person built Spectral. A lot of people haven't been building Spectral if you're not like... Like if I build crit, I'm getting a Spectral build on the enemy team because, oh, I'm against Weekend. But if you're not a streamer or like a pro, you, you can actually get away with it a lot because people want to be greedy with their builds. Wait, oh, if he ring bounce, ring bounce, ring bounce, ring bounce, he... All right, he really misplayed there, even going for the stun. All, if, if he was smart, he would have... Ring bounce? No. Well, he should have ring bounced off of the... Whatever it's called. Not a beacon. I, I keep wanting to say beacon. What are the things in front of the towers called? If he'd have walked up and ring bounced while, right when each other went to her all, he gets a kill. Bastion. Thank you. Yeah, the Bastion. Look at the Bastion, the beacon. But boinking, I don't know what's going on anymore. That was disappointing. He played that fight off. Like as soon as his three didn't land, which he shouldn't have thrown anyway, the whole his whole reaction to everything was off. He threw his one into the Ganesh pillar. And then he tried to ult at the antidote, but it was like a late it was a reaction ult. It was like, should I do this? And then he told himself yes, and it was too late, and he missed the ult because he ulted where he was instead of where he's gonna be. Where on Thanatos all, if you, like, when Thanatos lands, there's a half second. It's probably more like a quarter of a second where you don't move. But you hit the ground and you aren't moving. So you could just ult off of that. And you're not CC immune. So you should have ulted Thanatos the second you hit the ground. Okay, maybe he is on the sticks. <laughs> Maybe he is on the sticks. He is building Jotuns and Hydras. He's just getting that CDR online. He doesn't need to pull camps together. His ring bounce will do far less of that camp. It'll end up taking more damage. He's farming fine. And his ring bounce also slows, so if he ring bounces the pool, the camp won't keep up with him and it'll take forever and he'll be waiting. I think you guys overhype the grouping of camps a little too much. I actually think I've seen you talk about it multiple times in my stream. Grouping is dope if you have big AoE that just clears faster and you've got the movement to move from camp to camp. But in reality, someone like Naja is just going to be fine insta-clearing and then moving and then insta-clearing. Plus, you guys get caught up in clearing over ganking when you're just pulling all your camps together instead of clearing a camp and then looking to see if there's somewhere to gank versus going to the next camp. Yeah, I mean, there's gods where you're cool. Like, he's full cooldown, right? So his one's probably on a eight second cooldown. Oh, he's not full, full cooldown, but he's 30%. His one's probably on an eight second cooldown. So he throws his one on the initial pull of a camp and then by the time he gets to the next camp, it's up again. Where if you play someone where you're not going a lot of cooldown or with longer cooldowns and your abilities aren't going to be up, it's worth grouping. Mid is splitting a lot? Yeah, which... Uh, I mean, if you're splitting speed and red together, that's fine. If you do that every time, that's perfectly fine. Mm. That's a good invade, though. He needs to clear and get out. Oh, that was smart. He, he, 
Oh, that's huge. He's gonna die. Big shell. He might be out. He actually might be out. Thanatos already ulted. He's out. Thanatos is. Ring bounce. Ring bounce the gold. Ring bounce the gold. That's huge. So he telegraphed his ult there onto the Hachi. It, like insanely, obviously. And if you're someone masters or above, you should be able to bead Snajal unless you have crazy high ping. So that's gonna happen. You can't telegraph that shit. What you want to do is you want to catch somebody in an ability because when they're in an ability, they're not ready to beat. Most people don't hover their beads while casting something else. So if you see Haji throw a two out or, you know, pop his one, that's when you want to be ulting him. I like the idea, though. And he ends up getting out because of a huge shell from the Ares. It was a good stun, too. Don't get me wrong. He avoided a lot of damage by stunning out of the thing. That was actually Scream trolling, too. Scream ulted in a decent spot, but he should have played back and waited. He, Scream was the only way that Najah got out of that, and guess what? Scream gave him the only way out. Good play from the Najah, though. Can't, can't take it away. He didn't freak out too much. He could have ring-bounced the gold and gotten the kill, though. Insta ult after three always gets people? No. <laughs> maybe maybe in bronze lobbies because people don't are stupid. If you're ulting off of a sash, I'm beating it every time. If I know you want to ult, I'm beating it. You realize hitting a nausea ult can be beats every time. All it is is reaction. If not, you know a Naja wants to ult you and you're hovering beads, the beads should never go off. Or sorry, not the beads, the ult should never go off. Yeah, the big, that's what Happy Rogue said. The real like high level way to play it outside of blink free ulting when people aren't ready is threeing somebody and then ulting a different direction to a different person. So use the three as a movement ability. And then you insta ult off of it the second, right, really right when you hit the ground and nobody, people don't react well to that. It's a, it's a good way to catch people. This is a bad spot. This is a bad spot. It's going ult out. Good job. Not getting hit. Now Ares is in a real bad spot. Ganesh has ult, I think. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, ring bounce? That ring bounce is what you want to do for heal to give the slow. Strange. Some of his ability usage is weird, but other times it makes sense. It's just not always working out for him. Yeah, he doesn't ring bounce on cooldown like he should. But he threes on cooldown. So I don't know what's up with that. I can understand holding onto the three to be more comfortable. Not understanding holding onto the one. <laughs> that one is, it should not be anything to do with your comfort. Still doing decent though. It's the same level as the Thanatos, who has three kills, but two deaths. Hey, what was his build? Mouse, huh? Mm, Crusher? Oh, he's definitely on the sticks. <laughs> That's not on force. That was a terrible, terrible play on his part. He, if you didn't realize what happened, Susano ulted at the peak of any knockups. So Susano's ult, you are basically not targetable uh, for a brief second or with ground abilities. And he used his ground ability, Naja ult, and went right underneath him. Yeah, that was his fault, 100%. He tried to ult off the Susano ult, but wasn't patient enough. In reality, he probably shouldn't have ulted at all. It would have been way smarter and now Stalin's gonna die. It would have been way smarter for him to just stand there, ring bounce, auto attack him down for a minute and then ult somebody that was a real kill target. He also beads late, even though they knew he looked up at the Thanatos. So he saw him before he got landed on. Beads late, missed his stun off of the beads because he beads late. 
So that was just mistake after mistake after mistake. Have I heard of the Threads app? Yeah, it's the uh, the Instagram, Facebook competitor to Twitter. Problem is, it's Facebook and Instagram that are making a Twitter. <laughs> Facebook is dead and Instagram is struggling. So, you know, maybe they bring in new people to do it right and we all swap over. But I, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'll probably download it. I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm not going to hold my breath. The only thing that'll kill Twitter is if Musk actually does something like that kills it eventually instead of people just being angry. Yo, ult him! I guess I respect the safe play here. I just wish he had, would have gone for the ult combo. Or like, if you were going to eat a Thanatos ult, why not just ult the Thanatos ult in the first place? I think the controller is holding him back a lot. His reaction time is slow. How did I get, like, cat hair on my mic? Why do people get progressively worse in ELO Hell? Honestly, most of the time, playing the late game is harder for people than the early game. Early game, you're rewarded for not being patient. The late game, you're rewarded for being patient. You also don't get punished as much when you are overly aggressive early game. And when you're overly aggressive late game, you instant die. Uh, pretty nice, this guy. No, I've said he's messing up. Everything he's done has been wrong here in this late game. That, like that, another, okay. Wait. This is this is good. This is this is actually a good reaction. That's insane. So that was a terrible beads, obviously, but Thanatos uh, whipped his ult somehow. I don't know how. And this guy hasn't even ulted yet, so he's being really patient. Will he ring bounce to help him? Will he ring bounce? He did. They lose this. That's crazy. Thanatos whiffs his ult and insta dies. Alpha gets clapped. I like how I'm sitting here saying this is wrong, that's wrong, that was stupid, that was bad, he's playing slow, controller's holding him back, and you're like, damn, you're nice to this guy. Bro, do you have ears? Did your headphones turn off for the last 15 minutes? Nice for me? Nah. Nah, my YouTube cried because I was being too mean. So I'm not going to just be negative the whole time. I'll just point everything out that they're fucking up and point everything out they're doing right, if there's anything. <laughs> and we'll go from there. I mean, his reactions are slow because of the controllers. There's nothing else to it, you know what I mean? Like, like I can't fix that. And then switching to mouse and keyboard, he'll go through a three-month struggle. Definitely worth. I was thinking about this last night, or two nights ago? I don't know why I was sick. I learned at a really young age to, like, make a change and go through the struggles for that period of time to come out better at the end. So stuff like that never it never even occurred to me like people wouldn't have to deal with it. So swapping the mouse and keyboard to me just obvious. Like, let me play it shitty for a couple months and then I'm going to be way better than I was. Uh, and a lot of you are just like, I'm too, I don't want to deal with it. It's like, bro, two to three months of being shitty and you're instantly better. You're going to like, you come out being able to peak higher. I learned it through basketball because like when you're little, you don't really have the shooting form and everything. So you have to change your shooting form. When you change your shooting form, you shoot like shit for a while till you really get it down. So you, you're bad for that little bit of period, and then you come out stronger and more consistent. Same idea of like role swapping in Smite or picking up new gods or like, you know, one god. It's really something you should probably not think so much about. Like, I don't even think about it. Like, it's not even a question for me. Like, oh, obviously I'm going to take an L for this short period of time to come out better. Okay. <laughs> 63 ults. He's dead. I don't know if he meant to ult that or freak out, freak down, try to ult out, but that was a battle. 
That was a really bad ult. He was out of position too. The second he turned that corner and the Yorm was in front of him, he should have ulted past the Yorm and tried to get out. He was out of position at that moment. I don't think he recognized how out of position he was. Okay, don't give Scream that much credit saying Scream dashed into the ult. I played with Scream. He's got three IQ points. All right. All right. They dove went way too far here. That They got the Phoenix, but... Okay, wait, they traded Phoenixes. Honor just got the Phoenix too. Oh my gosh, Haji going in. Okay, Scream with the peel. What is happening right now? Oh, what is this? I'm gonna miss. Zano lives. They're not gonna end here. Phoenix for Phoenix. It could be worse. Get back on Ghosty Blue. He's coming out of base. Is Ghosty Blue about the Ghosty Troll? Oh, dude, no. I wanted to see him ult and then stun the, the mage. Build looking like, I think he went Crusher the last we checked. Yeah, Crusher, Magi's. That Magi's is questionable as hell because it is so easy. For the each out of burn magis, the Yorm to get in and burn magis, and the Ganesh to burn magis. But at the same time, if he is positioning correctly, the magis will have value on the initial blink. He literally cannot be seen until he blinks into these late game fights, though. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't go blink. I know I teach that on certain gods, when you ult in and you're full committed, that you, you know, you go Aegis, but on Naja, I've never taught that. On Naja, you go blink. Naja, blink is just so good because you can't rely on your three uh, ult combos. It's not going to work. Matthew, I'm actually really jealous of you. I'm not trolling. <laughs> There's like three of them around around me and I'm in this weird limbo of where I want to get a new car and get a supercar and I also just want to keep saving money and be smart. And car prices are crashing right now all around. Used and new car prices are just in a weird in a weird spot so I can't I can't pull the trigger. Oh my gosh, dude. Definitely the con he's got to get off controller. I can't even tell him to get higher sense because he's just aiming terribly. He's aiming where they were instead of where they're going to be. You wanted to steal it? <laughs> That's funny. I think maybe if the end of this year ends up being real good, like, you know, up and up, good numbers on shit, then I'll think about it. I'll probably do it, but we got to see how this year goes. The end of last year was not good. It was rough. Yeah, that's the thing is the RS3s are, are like base costs are like 250, 260 now. Without any, you know, you get an exhaust, that's 10K. You get carbon fiber, this or that, that's another 15K. You get a tune, that's 4K. You get a wrap, that's 10K. Like it's a lot if you do that stuff. So I don't know. Where is it? My dog is barking. They got fire. I hate that he stunned first. All he had to do was ult that dude when he turned the corner. We've got to get him more comfortable just ulting when he plays Naja. Scooby, they're cool cars. I saw a bunch at the garage that worked on my RS3. Oh, Cody, I saw your tweet, dude. You're 90,000 star Aphrodite. See, that's what I was worried about his Magi's. Scream can do that so easily if the Naja face checks. He can't face check. He's gotta sit back or off to the side. Really, he's gotta sit off to the side. Appreciate it, Cryptic. Yeah, last year though, Smite numbers, like streaming wise, I was down under a thousand concurrent viewers and it happens, you know, once a year or once every other year. It just felt more severe at that point in time. And then everything turned around again this year. So I don't know.
Cars about to go through major changes. Just wait five. No, if you wait five years to get ga these gas supercars, you're trolling. Uh, all the cars that are being made now are either partially electric or are going full electric. So you're not gonna be able to get these gas cars at these prices. The, the supercars are just gonna go up in value because there won't be any left. You ever seen a C7 Corvette? The cost of those cars, especially the ZR1s, are up to 200k, 200 plus k when they're they're brand new, or like you know really low mileage. When cars go through changes, it increases the value of the cars that came before them. Smite dying? Not now. Smite's player count just keeps going up, dude. Shit's crazy. Smite's always been noob friendly. What do you think the most of the player base plays arena? You fucking idiot. Bro, when you have an opinion, base your opinion off of something that you know is a fact. Not off of something that you heard from your buddy who's fucking girlfriend once downloaded smite on her switch that's weird like if you looked up numbers and you saying smite's dead is just troll right like if you looked up a single number you'd be like oh it's smite's not actually dying so you would never say that like i don't care if you don't like smite don't get me wrong like people are like linking in a play smite my dad the other day was like linking in a play smite before he's three i'm like he's gonna play other another game he's not playing smite but i was like why i was like smite sucks Smite doesn't literally suck, but it's not a game worth investing, uh, you know, unless you have, you like, you know, it's fun and you're looking for a fun game, but if you're looking for a competitive game to invest into, it's probably not your go-to, you know? What is happening? This is a cluster. There we go! Finally! He gets a kill! Dude, he's taking so long to do that. I hope that was confidence and not just a random reaction, like, oh shit, I'm about to do this. Season 7 was way better for Smite. That's your opinion, though. That's your opinion. I think the beginning of this year was the best Smite ever was. And honestly, right now, Smite's not in a great place. And I still like playing the game way more than I did last year. Way more during, you know, all like any point in time yesterday, last year, I like playing Smite the way it is right now more than that. <laughs> Season 7 was actually pretty, pretty poop. -poo. Last year was dog though. Last year was butt cheeks. I can't even play the game last year. Last year for the last two months. Oof. They're not gonna go for Phoenix. Smart. Wait, was season seven the Cthulhu, then Morgan Cthulhu, double Cthulhu, thorns, unkillable shit? Some white out bottom five gods and smite um if we're talking about skill like of the player not being part of the like the equation definitely putting persephone in there um i don't know if i'd put any adcs in there for certain I, I think Zhang is dog. I put Zhang in there. I literally think Zhang is the most overrated because people are like, he's tanky. It's like, okay, no one asked. That, that doesn't make him good. Um, can't say Arachne. Realistically, Mercury is really bad now because of Spectral. Now, if you play against people who have zero brain cells and they don't build spectral, that's a different story, but everyone should build, like, you know, they should have a spectral the second Mercury's in a game. Mm. Jingwei is questionable, but she can play non crit. It's just not that great. Maybe she's down there. Kumba can be annoying. I don't think he's good, but I don't think he's like a waste of space. I don't I really don't know who I put it. See, he just wasted his magis again. Too many junglers that are in here doing these evil L's stand in the front like this. Look at where Susano is. That's where you want to be as a jungler. Where his mid lane Susano is right now, that's what you you want to be pushing that wave as a jungler, being very aware of that side, you know, your fire side of the jungle, so you don't get put in a weird spot. Don't ever waste your movement ability while clearing and just be ready to clear and run if you have to. Use your blink to run if they overcommit, that kind of stuff. Ring bounce.
Okay, he lived like 30 seconds longer than he should have. Not literally 30 seconds. Uh, but I think he just won the fight for them. I... That was as much of a huge fail on Alpha as it was a lucky timed ult from the Naja, I guess. Convince your girl to let you go to world. Sammy's going. Tell her, um, tell her it'll be your, like, your, your recoup. So you can do anything that she needs any day, any time she needs a break. You know, she can take all the breaks she needs. You just need those three days and you'll be good to go for the next five years. Was he back up yet? Ooh, he misses too. Merch, type it again. I can't see it. Why well, go back in? The nausea? He had to go back in. What do you mean? That the Thanatos was behind him. When he came out of his ult, the Thanatos was behind him. Him going back in there and living for that much longer, he ate like three extra abilities. His whole team lived. Their team dropped three players. They should get this fire for free. They should have already got this fire. The fact that they waited this long is kind of troll. Yep, there's a free fire. Him living that long was massive. He ate every Thanatos ability. He ate, what, two Yorm abilities. He ate every Ganesh ability twice. He took Ganesh out of the fight, fight so they had no front line. Uh, rather than dying, which obviously you don't want to take the Ganesh out if you have a choice, but if it's you die or you take Ganesh out, taking the Ganesh out is solid. You were in silver when you did Elo Hell, now you're in plat. Let's go, dude. You guys are all grinding. Oh no, Ra Razy's not going to the next worlds. Honestly, when his his kid is a year and Worlds is happening, like for me, when I went to Worlds, Lincoln was, what was he? He, oh yeah, he had just turned one. Um, I'd have been fine with just staying home and being with him. I had fun at Worlds. I liked it a lot, but I also enjoy being around him. He's a little pain in my butt though, dude. He's learned that he can kind of like get away with stuff by being like sweet. So last night he's holding a little like plastic cup with goldfish and he starts fucking slamming my head with it And I do like dad voice stop and he knows what it means and it like kind of You know, it, it catches him off guard and he like stops and reacts But then he'll realize like oh, I'm in trouble. Let me not be in trouble and he'll give you a hug like give me a hug Doesn't say a word just stops what he's doing it looks like he's kind of confused but kind of sad but also like knows and then he just gives you a hug or today, he kept knocking his bottles off of his uh, food tray and like throwing them on the floor just because he wanted to. And I was telling him to stop, like same dad voice. And he stared at me until he got me to smile. And he sat there like, like, you know, how you like half smile, you like smirk. He can do it and then stop it. Like he can start it and then just drop it back to normal. And he kept doing it over and over again until Sammy reacted. She laughed and then I laughed and he started fucking busting out laughing. That's the worst. If me, Sammy, and him are there and he's in trouble, it's... There's a 90% chance that one of us ends up laughing and he doesn't get in any trouble. Bro, he smacked the shit out of Sammy's face the other day and I just busted out laughing. Oh, he did it! He swapped! I don't know if that was on purpose, but this is what we want! Yes! Please. Okay, he's confused. He's lost in the sauce. Okay. That was he fine one time this game into that. He actually looks fairly good for this, considering he's on controller. I don't I think he can play in these lobbies consistently, especially like a ranked lobby, where there isn't as much synergy. He's got a ton of room for improvement though. He'd be at the low end of a lobby like this. Cause right now he's 1920 MMR. I could see him being sub masters glad or sorry uh diamond or more like diamond two diamond one 2400 2300 no problem he had a weird stretch there in the beginning i don't know some of that was just so lucky 
that i mean i, I gotta give him credit because he, he was controlling the character but some of that just seems so lucky bro he did as much damage as the mid laner but he, they both got out damaged by their aries and he got out damaged by the thanatos each hell's damage was really low the damage numbers in this game are f crazy it's like the ADCs played the game and everyone else kind of played the game. <laughs> All right. Uh, yo, Young Haru, thank you for the primer, dude. Fuck it, thank you for the 12 months. X, you stink, but thank you for the 82 month tier three. Yeah, I'm never video calling you ever, Xy. That was an interesting game to watch. Um, can he join Discord? Ghosty Blue, can you join Discord, dude? Xe, I'd literally rather turn my Corvette on, put it in neutral on the hill that I live on and let it roll into the street and get wrecked or have someone take it and let them go and not call police than ever sit in a fucking Friday night video call with you in my entire life. Ever. All right, I got you. All right, you here? You, what's up? How do you think you did? Uh, well, that game was kind of slow, so, and there was like, like, like you said, there wasn't a lot of damage, and I think early game, we couldn't fight as well, because, I don't know, other CC and, and stuff, and I missed like a, a couple oats, because I, I was thinking they had, like, when I landed the sash, I was thinking they had beads, so I was like, hopefully, hoping that they were gonna, like, beads. But they never did, and I don't know. It's just like, like I said, that game was kind of slow, and it was very low damage. I think I did okay, like enough where we won the game. Like, I there was one instance where I think we were out of fire. Uh, I was gonna try to make a play, and they like the enemy team immediately stopped me, and but so they all just like the enemy team went on me. Uh, I I was able to get an ult off, and it was enough for like my team to clean up, and then like I don't know. Like I said, uh, the game wasn't. Uh, like that great. I guess it's a higher end lobby, so it's like um a lot slower paced than you know. My other question is, how come you don't just throw your ring bounces out when you play Naja just for you know poke or extra damage? You are holding onto it a lot. Yeah, I did. I did notice that, and there's a couple of times when uh I try to throw it, and I guess Ganesh silenced me, and I thought I threw it off already, and, like, I just okay. kind of forgot. That makes more sense. There was a couple times where you could have won the Bastions and gotten kills, like, on each other when she got away with it really low. I know one of the times you kind of realized it late, and then you threw it, but it got blocked by Ganesh Pillar. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say, like, try to be more freely free with using that one. Like, pay attention, make sure it doesn't, you know, get stopped for that half second or whatever, because you were three, you probably three more than you won that game, which is crazy. Like... That's, you never see that happen. Um, outside of that, you're on the sticks, right? Uh, yeah. So last yeah. time I was using uh, keyboard and mouse, but you told me to lower my sense, and like, I I don't um, I don't really uh, I really didn't have time to be playing the game as much. Uh, I just recently started playing, like I think these two past weeks, and I've been grinding more, and like, uh, I just so I just ended up using the controller since I can use both. Uh, um. Uh, I just felt like I get, my, maybe my aim would have been better on controllers since it's a little bit slower. I'd pro if if you get back to playing enough that you you know you want to put in the time, swap the mouse and keyboard and just full commit because there's like seven or eight times where you miss sashes or ults because you were aiming where they were rather than where they're they gonna be, and that's because you were on controller. You were like. It was the times when you had to use actives as well. So you'd be wanting the beads or something and then wanting to aim and wanting to use your sash or your ult and you would just whiff because your ult or your sash was the last thing to happen and they wouldn't be there anymore. So it, yeah. it is really, really apparent 
Um, mouse and keyboard, you'll be able to insta aim, like correct your aim faster than controller. So beads and all that stuff is a little bit easier. Um, I would, <clears throat> from my point of view, you knew when people like that, you, you look right at the Thanatos in the air, but you wouldn't, I'm guessing you wouldn't plan out what you were going to do when he went on you because two or three times he went on you. One time you just beads the hell for the hell of it while, <laughs> while running away. Like he, he wasn't landing on you yet or whatever. And I'm guessing that's because you're on controller. Like it's harder for you to, you know, beads instantly and still use your abilities instantly. Where on mouse and keyboard, it should be fairly easy to do that. But also, you need to think like he's gonna land on me. I'm gonna bead sash. I'm gonna beads alt out. I'm not gonna beads. I'm just gonna alt the second I see it coming down. You need to think that through. If you do, you might be a little bit faster if you do stay on controller. That's like the one thing that you could probably do to speed up your controller gameplay a little bit. Um at the end of the game you finally did something i was hoping you'd do you sashed the yorm and then ulted the echel you need to do that more you yeah, need to definitely. free ult more free ulting is like blink ulting or just walking up and ulting ring bouncing all doing somebody and then ulting someone else you, you can't always sash ult. you can't telegraph your ult you did it on the hachi he knew you were gonna ult and he just insta beats you and you got so lucky you got out of that fight you that game was weird for me because there were things you did, especially early game that I liked. And then when you got in the mid or the mid late game, a lot of it felt very lucky between that Thanatos missing six ults that game, the fight I'm talking about, you were invading purple and you missed your sash on the Hachi when he turned the corner the first time. And then you went back in anyway, and they rotated. You were able to sash through the Ganesh ult because his dumbass walked at you and gave you a perfect out. And then your team gave you a good shell, which would have saved you. So you should have died. In two ways you should have died you got really lucky there that time you were talking about you got the ult into the ganesh to buy yourself your team time that was sick you that ended up winning you the fight but the thanatos misses ult again they all try to target you for whatever weird reason it, you did play it out right but you got lucky they missed some abilities so yeah, that's why so i'm in a weird did, spot was, yeah so when they did that i was thinking like damn maybe i should have went tank this game if i was gonna get like or not tank but like hybrid you know so if you're playing ranked on Naja, I'd say go full damage and carry. But if you're in a game where you're the lower MMR, you know you're in some, with some good players, grabbing one or two, like a, the regrowth and another defensive item is kind of the play. See a lot of the pros do that just because you'll still do enough damage and you'll just be more survive. Your survivability will go up. You'll gain more movement speed. You'll rotate faster, all that shit. Got the... So how was, how was that from a 1465 jump? To... I mean, I, at the end of that game, I said I could see you playing in these lobbies, but being the lower MMR in these lobbies, like 2300, maybe 2400 max, probably somewhere between 2200 and 2400, if that wasn't luck. If you could sit here and tell me, like, you playing a lot of that out, great. There was times where you did good shit. You killed somebody at the, the shield buff, and then two more people walked in front of you, and you could have gone back in, but you were like, no, like, that fight's over, I'm out. That's the kind of discipline you need to, to keep grinding. Um, I'm trying to think of it. Like, the early game was just solid. Your team played really well around you invading purple, which was nice. I think the biggest problem I had, I'd probably be able to tell better if you were playing a different god, but you just missed so many little abilities. You were looking for the aggression. I like that you won the mid lane, which was weird because they, they were out clearing you, but you guys were able to out pressure them in terms of fighting, which was really good. I do think you've gotten a lot better than 1400 fucking MMR, that's for sure. I think if you watch it back, you'll see the things I'm talking about. It was just a lot of little stuff for you. It wasn't like you need to stop doing this one major thing and you'll be better. It's That's why I wish you, you would just commit to mouse and keyboard because I think your aim was really off because of the controller. That's uh... And if you look at it from my point of view, you'll aim where the person is. It'll be a, like a little bit late because you can't insta aim, you can't snap aim. And then by the time you get your ability off, they've started moving again. And then you miss. Um, I do okay, think the major yeah. thing you could take on Naja is not telegraphing that all. Because high level players like that, they're not going to eat that all. They're going to beat it every time. Yeah, yeah. But I do think you've gotten a lot better. And for you saying you weren't really grinding until the last couple of weeks, that's big. Yeah, I usually get on like around 6 p.m. that's when i'll be playing uh, that's e pst for me so that would be like what nine for you like yeah mm -hmm. so, I, so I, I that's the only time i honestly play the game and like before i wasn't doing it as much i'll probably like play two games and then get off and then but now i actually been playing a lot more so... is naja something you play a lot 
Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, I play him before, but he's not, like my main two. My main, my main option is like uh, Susano. I think I said it before. It was Susano. It was it was uh Thor, but those two got uh those get banned all the time. This guy wanted to play uh Susano mid, so you know I just let him play. I didn't say anything. I was just gonna play Naja. I played Naja before, so it's fine. Like I play him, not all the times, but like depending on team comps. I might have said this war. Pick up something. Get really comfortable on a third god, and I think you'll be in a good place then. It's just stay on the sticks. Yeah, yeah, my, my third god I said before was Ravana when he was safe, and then tank meta happened, and, and now he's everybody's banned. just banning him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all your gods are getting banned or picked right now. Um, yeah. yeah, I'd pick up, just throw something else in there that you get a bunch of time in, because your nausea, what, your decision making wasn't the worst, it was more just mechanics, which is something you should be able to improve easily by playing. You could just play nausea more, that could be your, your shit that you just put up more time into, and I think you'll get there. Gotcha. Yep. Um, watch it back, cause like I said, it's like you'll see if you definitely when you watch it, you'll be like, okay, I see what he's talking about with my beads and my abilities. That that you improve that, you'll be a lot better in the higher level lobbies. Okay, I have a I have a question. Yep. Um, I, I know when you do uh Elo Hell videos and you ask for like other people to like for this rank, but I'll be able to slide through. Uh, just like even if I'm not that ranked to participate in, like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna like you have to get that MMR. You have to, okay, okay, I got yeah. you because I'm you. not. I just had doing this lobby, I had somebody try to join that I hadn't played yet. I'm like, just go play a game if you want to be in these games, okay, gotcha. Yep. I mean, you're not that far off to be honest because usually yours was a 2400, but a lot of the time I'll do like 2200 plus. That's four that's four games or three really good games for you. So I feel like you grab somebody and just get three fucking good rank games and you're already up in that MMR. Do you okay. did you shock call at all or VGS or do anything or was that just were you guys just going? Uh, yeah, we were yeah, we were using comms. Uh I wasn't like shock calling the entire time. I mean I was saying stuff like, Oh, maybe we should do this and let's do this and then like it wasn't just entirely me, you know, it was the whole team was actually using comms. Well you're not silent, that's good. Okay, that's what I, we were talking about that at the beginning. That's good. Because if you're able to go into ranked and say like two objectives, that's a major factor in getting more wins. Gotcha. All right, dude. GG's, thank you for doing it. Glad to see you're improving. Kind of, kind of crazy fast. All right.